It's dress up time. Yes, I was going to say it's that time of year again. I feel like 2023 has been the year of me and Mickey dressing up as characters. I honestly, this isn't like a cosplay dressing up kind of channel, but you guys seem to absolutely love it. So starting off this summer, Mickey, you coming back in? We're filming a video, mate. Anyway, this year we dressed up as Barbie. So Mickey was a Barbie pony. He loved that with his pink mane. And then we've also dressed up Mickey as the Joker and myself as Harlequin. So, oh, thank you. Yes, kisses. Um, so that was quite fun as well. And when I was making Mickey green, I was thinking, you know what? Coming up to Christmas, I, we need to dress up as something. We have to. So today, Mickey is going to be transformed into an Oompa Loompa. And I am going to be, I was gonna say Charlie, it's not Charlie, is it? From Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I am going to be Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be um, Willy Wonka. So there we go. Because there's the new film coming out, and I feel like it is like it's not a Christmassy film, but it's just a film that you'd watch with your family every Christmas, or certainly in my family. I was definitely like the Johnny Depp Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't think I've ever watched the original. I feel like I should. My mum said that she watched the original when she was a kid and she found the guy a little bit creepy. Um, but anyway, maybe I should watch that after this, but I'm excited for the new film that's coming out. I think Mickey is excited to become an Oompa Loompa. So anyway, Mickey, let's get you clean and let's transform him. You're gonna be looking very orange, that's for sure. Yes, orangey orange. Also, before we begin, can we just have a moment to appreciate Mickey's moustache, which is coming back for the winter. You got your winter tash, Mick. I don't think Oompa Loompas have moustaches, but we'll somehow incorporate it. Yes, you're sniffing the treats in my pocket, aren't you? Yes, he's, oh no, don't eat the pocket. Oh no, I'm all licked. We've only just started the video and already covered in Mickey's saliva. Anyway, let's get you cleaned up, mate. I have got my hose pipe to wash Mickey's hooves off. Oh, it's getting a bit feisty um, because they are so muddy because he's been in the field all morning. So we're just going to give you a little, little clean, Mickey. A little rinse. Oh, I know you're such, so precious. You don't like getting your hooves wet. Alrighty, I have just finished giving Mickey a groom. So we're starting with a cleanish pony. Um, also, I'm gonna be again using the pony paint that I've used in previous episodes. Um, it's washable, wash out, made of chalk, non-toxic, um, suitable for sensitive skin, all that kind of stuff. And I've used it multiple times with Mickey and he's always been fine. And it's always washed out really well. So anyway, we're starting off with the orange. Um, I feel like I haven't actually used the orange much. I think I've used it once when I painted pumpkins on Casper. But I think that's it, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake because I've never used it before and pop it in. Oh, that was a big splodge. Pop it in our little pot here. And then I'm going to try and use the paintbrush to paint it on Mickey, but I feel like this is going to be very, very messy. All right, that'll be enough for now. Before I put the first brush stroke on Mickey, I was just wondering if I could please, please, please ask you one thing. I don't ask you to do much on the channel, and that is, could you please subscribe? Oh, Mickey's had a shake, because it really does help me make more content for you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, and let's continue with painting the boy. Yes, you excited? Okay, I don't want to put it too near his eyes. If I put it underneath, that's fine. Oh, Mickey. I really should have done this. I should, I should have had a chestnut horse because then I wouldn't have had to paint them orange. But anyway, I feel like this is quite a bright orange though. There aren't many chestnuts out there that are that bright. Oh, he's fallen asleep. You are so good, Mickey. Is this quite relaxing? Is it like I'm doing like a little ASMR face painting video? I have a feeling, oh no, Mickey, don't move. Don't move, stay there, boy. You're a good boy, stay there. I have a feeling that I might get quite a bit of orange on me in the process of doing this. Hey Mickey. So I'm going to be very careful not to get any paint near his mouth or his eyes. And I also have realised because I um, just watched the trailer again and Hugh Grant, who's one of the Oompa Loompas, he's got white eyebrows. So that's what I'm going to do on mix here. And um, oh, I'm running out of orange paint already. I'm going to have to put some more in. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do and hopefully You'll look like an Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna do the snoot last because I feel like the snoot is dangerous. The snoot will cover me in orange. Okay, you just lick my jacket. You do that mix. If it keeps you happy. Oh no, I forgot the eyebrow. Wait, I can fix this guys. 
I was getting too excited. If I go like that. I've just stood back and he looks ridiculous. He looks like he's had a really bad spray tan. Oh, Mickey. I'm sorry, my fella. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting, oh, I've got a little bit of my hair. Oh, that's probably not very good. I'm really concentrating on that eyebrow. There we go. He doesn't really like having his ears washed, so I think I'm just gonna not paint his ears and hope that nobody really notices. Um, and also to try and save paint, because I'm gonna keep his head collar on for it. I think if I just kind of paint around the head collar, hopefully we won't have to use as much paint because I did not realize how, how orange Mickey is really gonna be. We might have to water the paint down a little bit. I do have red and yellow, so I could make orange. Worst case scenario. I can't lie, it really does look like Mickey's having a great time. Like he is here, sunbathing, chilling, with his eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I didn't do the snoot, because you are gonna get me covered, aren't you? Yes. Because you love the kisses. You love the kisses. Can't lie, Mickey, you do look like the first time I used self-tan. Yeah, it wasn't a good look. Luckily, there are no photos from that day. No, it wasn't good. Or when I was younger and accidentally picked out a, a, um, a foundation that was a little bit too dark for me. Yeah. Now, I want to sing a, I'm gonna have to sing a song for you guys because we can't use the audio because of copyright, so are you ready? Oompa loompa dee 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 doom. I don't know the words to this song. Oompa loompa. Dee 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 dee. This is not for eating Mickey. Oh, that works. If YouTube goes down the drain, I'll just become a songwriter. Oh yeah. I've just stood back and looked at him. Now, I um, don't really talk about political things on the channel, you know, this is just a, a little wholesome place, but if you're in the UK, you'll know what I mean when I say he looks like he's been subject to just stop oil. He looks like they've like protested on him. Anyway, back to Mickey being an Oompa Loompa. He looks like he's gone in some baked beans. I don't know where he looks like. He's gone in some tomato soup. All right, so this green I've mixed up with the green that came in the pony paint and also the yellow pony paint. And it is like neon acid apple green. Are you ready for your hair? Are you ready? You've already had a green forelock once this year. Oh, now you are really an Oompa Loompa, look at that. Oh no, he's shaking, he's got a quiff. <laughs> it's got all static. I feel like when horses get old, they always have such a little pathetic forelock. Like it used to be so big and bushy and now he's getting old. It's just, come here Mick. It's just a little bit frazzled, isn't it? You look like a, a frazzled. It looks like he's got a toupee on. Before I put the green on, he does look like a what's it, which I think in like a kind of like an American version for you guys, it's like a cheese it, I think, or a cheese puff. Yes, you do. You do. My concentration face. Oh, we love my concentration face. I feel like you haven't watched the channel long enough if you don't know my concentration face. So Mickey's painting is now complete. Oh, big yawn. Is someone tired? I think he's literally found it like I've been giving him a massage, like me stroking the paintbrush on him, but like he's being groomed, I guess. Um, anyway, the paint is now complete. He's got his green in his mane. He's got his orange. And now it's time to dress him in some clothes. So Mickey is being the Hugh Grant Oompa Loompa, who is quite a posh gentleman. He's got like a, I'm pretty sure he has like a dressing gown sort of thing on. So I thought Mickey could put his pajamas on. This is actually a new rug, which part of me was like, I don't really want to put it on him because it's going to get orange and green but I feel like this is going to make him, you know, it's going to top it off. Also, I feel like he's been such a good sport being painted. I didn't really want to paint like all of him. So I'm just going to put this, oh, I've done it wrong. You know, when you get a new rug and all the buckles are done up, I've done that. I forgot to undo the buckles. There we go. Oh, Mickey. Look at you, my fella. Look at your little fluffy bit. Yes. Okay, let's do this up. Get you all comfy. Oh, Michael. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, Mickey. I say, sir, look at you in your posh rug. 
Thank you very much, Lumia, for very kindly sending us Mickey's little pajamas that he's got here. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. Anyway, I feel like Mickey, you are looking awesome. You are looking so good. All we've got left is that I need to transform myself into Willy Wonka himself, haven't I? Yes. Or factory, chocolate factory owner. So anyway, I'm going to go and do that and I'll be back in a second. Welcome to the office. I thought I would do a Timothy Chalamet, Willy Wonka, get ready with me, which is probably one of the weirdest get ready with me that I've kind of come out of my mouth. But anyway, here we go. Um, starting off, I have this jacket that I've owned for a number of years. Hopefully, when I wear this jacket in the future, you guys won't look at it and be like, that's the Willy Wonka jacket that she wore. That looks really strange. Anyway, um, so here we go. I have this kind of trench coat in a maroony kind of berry color. After that, I have my Fairfax and Favour Madeleine Gillet, which is going to be my waistcoat because I'm pretty sure from the things clips I've seen, he kind of wears like a little bit of a waistcoat. So again, I feel like underneath, it's gonna be like a very different look for me, but here we go. Um, I also have my Fairfax and Favour boots and to try and tie it all together and coordinate it, I have put my burgundy tassels on, so hopefully that looks good. And then I also have, because I kind of want to still look a little bit girly, I don't wanna, you know, look too weird, I've decided to um, wear a skirt I have. This is actually a skirt, it's got built-in shorts, which is great. Um, so I'm gonna wear that because he kind of has trousers on that are this sort of color, but I don't have any trousers that color, so I thought, you know what? wear a skirt instead so there we go and then the only two things that i've had to actually buy for this costume is um i think this is called a cravat um i ordered a cravat online um i don't know how to tie this so i'm gonna have to watch some youtube tutorials to do that but um there we go i feel like this will be the thing that you're like yep that is willy wonka but we're not done there because i have got myself a top hat and of course that's why I went for these boots, because I'd say the tan goes pretty well. So um, that's what I'm doing. That is my outfit. Um, I'm going to get changed and we'll see how I look. I'm probably going to look absolutely ridiculous, but you know what? It's for the content. It's for your guys' entertainment and hopefully you find it funny or find it um, somewhat entertaining. <laughs> I'm going to find the makeup do a bit of makeup obviously this look isn't going to be as out there or wild and exciting as when I did Harlequin um, but I thought I would go for a little bit of glittery eyeshadow because you know glitter always makes me think of Christmas so we'll see how it goes I've gone for like a berry lip as well to go with my jacket um, I know Willy Wonka in the film well from the things I've seen um, I don't think he wears berry lipstick but um, you know what that's what I'm going for oh my gosh my I've just realized my hand is just absolutely caked in orange. I need to fix that as well. There we go. My eyes are the golden ticket. All right, I need to find myself an implimper. Oh my goodness. I forgot what Mickey looked like for a second then. I was like, oh my, his face. It's so ridiculous. Oh, my mix. Look at you, babes. Hello, Hugh Grant. Oh, he's on a poo. That's a weird place to do a poo, mate. Hello. Hello. Are you my Oompa Loompa? Are you my Oompa Loompa? Alrighty, this is our finished look. I've got my outfit. Mickey's got his orange face. If I kind of turn his head that way because this is going to be the side that we are shooting. But anyway, now it's time. Oh, he's off. He's off. Wait, Mickey, we'll do a little circle. We'll circle back, we'll circle back. Okay, stand. Well, anyway, I think we're both looking pretty good for a Tuesday afternoon's filming. Me using stuff that I've got at home, a bit of pony paint, a nice new rug. I think it's time to take some photos. Mickey's some 
nice warm soapy water give him a little bit of a wash off most of this i'll probably be able to get off with just water actually without soap because it is like chalk paint it washes out so easily so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put the solarium on as well so give mickey a bit of a pamper a bit of a spa treatment as you can see when he's in here he literally does just fall asleep you love all the attention don't you boy okay let's turn your cooker on look at that coming out so well squeegee it should probably roll my sleeves up i don't really want to get get too soaking although it's a little bit of a chillier day today we are very lucky to have a warm shower so mickey here look at him he's just chilling at the spa in the spa day oh that's coming out so easily i haven't even put any shampoo in yet bit of the old bitty bit good boy Good boy, oh, is that your scratchy spot? Is that your happy scratchy spot? Good. Good boy. Good. Happy boy. Look at all that water coming off your beard, Mickey. Anyway, I'm going to finish off uh, washing this boy and making sure that all the soap is out but um he has been incredible don't worry i'm going to give him lots of extra treats for being so good but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video everybody for everybody that's going to go and see the film wonka um sh hopefully when this video goes out it should be out so i hope you go and enjoy that but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or haven't done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all next time bye oh mickey what the best pony ever yeah, you're the best ever. Best ever. Look at that beard. <laughs> Ring your beard out. <laughs> All the drip drips. Get you dried off in a sec.